Designed to build global awareness through exposure to different cultures and worldviews, the California Film Institute is a valuable artistic and educational medium conveying different visions, viewpoints, and perspectives. Here to discuss more is the Director of Education, Joanne Parsant. Joanne, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Olivia. It's great to be here. Of course, I'm excited to talk all things California Film Institute. And first and foremost, for our viewers who have maybe never heard of you all, give us an overall view of what you guys did. Sure. Um, so the California Film Institute, we're probably most known for the annual Mill Valley Film Festival. We're going into our 46th year in October, October 5 to 15. Um, so we sort of came out of that. The organization arose from um, the Mill Valley Film Festival, and now it's an umbrella organization that encompasses that as well as our Docklands Documentary Film Festival that we just had in May. And we also run and own the nonprofit um, three-screen art house theater, the Smith Rafael Film Center up in downtown San Rafael mm -hmm. um, in Marin. And then we run um, year-round education programs, which is what I get the great fun and pleasure to, to oversee. <laughs> Wonderful. And I know that at the California Film Institute, you guys offer a lot of different programs out there. And a lot of them are, like you said, based off of education and just trying to get people's views to be expanded. Why is that so critical to the mission? Okay. God, um, because film just has, you know, as we all know when we go to, to see movies, I mean, it just has a resonance of, you know, being able to see the storytelling, um, but also the opportunity to see yourself represented on screen or someone who looks like you um, or has similar experiences you, to you, and also to be able to see experiences and places and people and stories that you've never seen before, mm -hmm. which is why it's particularly critical from an education perspective. Um, you know, we use film to, to work with teachers and students in the classroom um, and to bring um, screening uh, screenings for schools at the theater so that um, kids can actually see things that they would never normally experience. So we're getting to show them films that come from all over the world, different countries. They can see kids in other cultures. Um, they can learn about issues and you know subjects that um, they might be learning about in school, but in much greater depth. We show a lot of documentaries. Um, but you know, like this program that we're doing um, today for Juneteenth is you know very much also about celebrating diversity of experience, but also being able to show you know different stories of different communities and to be able to see themselves represented. Um, and, and in different ways, not just the same way that you might always see in yeah. mainstream films and um, a lot more authentic storytelling. We also do a lot of programs where we teach filmmaking to students for the same reason, so that they can actually tell their own stories and be empowered to tell um, stories through film that they would otherwise never get to share and that has a much greater impact. Just that, that visceral experience of, you know, particularly if you're in the theater, of mm -hmm. being able to feel that, you know, community experience of watching stories and hearing, um, you know, other people's stories and, and being able to to then even have that conversation with you know the people that you went with or other people about yeah. what that experience was like and that's such an incredible way to approach it as well and one way you guys are educating a lot of kids out there is one of these kids series that you you know in honor of Juneteenth that you will be showing it's very educational a lot of young black stories in some of these movies can you tell me about some of the stories sure. that people can expect yeah there's actually there's seven films in the program this is actually a series that was um, put together by the um, New York Children's Film Festival um, based in New York um, they do a touring program of some of these films. A lot of these films I've shown in some of our family film programs in past Mill Valley Film Festivals. Um, so it's a collection of seven different films. Um, there's one, uh, as I was saying, from other countries. There's an animated film um, from Brazil called My Name is Malum um, about um, a young Afro-Cuban or Afro-Brazilian uh, girl who uh, learns to better understand and embrace her legacy and identity around her name after she's kind of made fun of for having this unusual name but really embraces her own um, history and her family legacy. Um, there's a really wonderful film called Room Rodeo about a young boy who's um, writing a um, an assignment for school uh, about um, black cowboys and the fact that he actually has a great grandfather who was a legendary black cowboy and people don't believe him and he has to like and so it actually includes this really great combination of you know sort of this live action narrative story and actual um, archival video of and, and footage of, wow. of black cowboys um, you know from decades ago um, there's uh, a wonderful doc short documentary called um, Generation Impact the Coder about a young 13 year old girl who created her own built her own app to help support young people with incarcerated parents um, to have better uh, communication with them and to be able to connect with them through this app. And now she's teaching coding to other young kids um, wow. as a way to, you know, to, so it's, it's, it's really, it's really amazing that, you know, at 13 that she can so just incredible. create her own. Yeah. Um, no big deal. But she did kind of a partnership with, with her dad yeah. too. It's just a really wonderful, inspiring story. So it's really great that there's a whole mix of, we also have a really fun um, comedy about a group of um, kids uh, on a school bus on, you know, uh, that are basically trying to find a romantic partner for their, their beloved school bus driver um, before they go into the summer so that, you know, she's not lonely for the last day, you know, for the rest of the summer after they leave, you know, that obviously 
Lucy, she must have no life except um, when she's driving, with them on the bus. Driving yeah. the bus, <laughs> yeah. Yep. But it's really, really sweet, this group of, this group of kids That's just that so are determined, amazing. you know, but also like, you know, I wonder if she would be dating a man. Would she be dating a woman? I don't know. But, you know, let's yeah. try them all out. And of course, they only know the adults, you know, in their immediate vicinity, like the teachers and the janitor and the, you know, like, there's, it's very, it's a really sweet film. Oh my gosh. Well, so many yeah. of these sound amazing. And what has been the response from the community through this series? Well, we just, we had it yesterday at the theater and then we're showing it again this afternoon at four o'clock. Um, so, you know, so far it's been really great just to see people show up at the theater again. We did a similar type of program during Pride Week um, or well during for Pride Month that we did um, last weekend of um, shorts for um, for the family around, you know, different queer subjects. So um, we had a really wonderful turnout for that too. So we're just really, you know, trying to kind of increase our, our family programming, number one, and these opportunities where we can really show diverse stories. And, and ideally, you know, of course, we're not doing it just on Juneteenth. This is such a great opportunity to have that program, um, but it's something that we're really committed to doing at the theater and certainly during the festival, um, you know, more often and all the time. Um, and it's definitely embedded in how we teach um, through our education program of really, um, you know, we're, we're reaching students um, from all different backgrounds and all mm -hmm. different schools from all around the Bay Area that we bring to the theater. We take filmmakers out into classrooms, um, you know, and as I say, we have a lot of programs for um, a variety of, um, mm -hmm. of students to participate and learn filmmaking and learn the film industry as well. So That's amazing. Um, it's kind of all part of that whole package for how we really support, you know, education yeah. and, and film as, as, as an educational resource. Well, wonderful. So just before I let you go, Joanne, one more time, because I know you said you are doing a screening today at mm -hmm. 4 o'clock. When and where can people come uh, watch? 4 o'clock p.m. at the smith Rafael Film Center in downtown San Rafael. Tickets are only $5 for everyone um, today, which, you know, way less than normal. So um, great opportunity if you're, you know, run out of things to do with your family this afternoon and want to just check out some really super fun films. Like I said, it's a really great program. Um, and, um, and yeah, tickets you can get on our website at um, cafilm.org. Wonderful. Well, I feel like $5 is definitely worth the education. So thank you so much, Joanne, for thank joining you, us here Olivia. today. Thank you, Olivia. It was my pleasure. Online.